project and a recommendation that staff be authorized to sign and execute the non-binding term sheet and negotiate a subsequent exclusive negotiating agreement and disposition and development agreement, both which will be brought back to your board for final review and approval. The county team that has been working on this project in the board's direction includes the elected county auditor controller, Steve Manning, our county council, Donna Riedler, and chief deputy county council, Brian Washington, who's here this morning. Your designated negotiators who have been working as special advisors to the county through the county administrator's office, Patrick O'Connell, your former elected auditor controller, and Aki Nakao, the former county general services agency director. We also have outside counsel from Goldfarb and Lippman, Karen Tiedemann, and we've also consulted with your elected county assessor, Ron Thompson. Your team, as well as representatives from the city of Oakland's team, have worked together to bring this document forward. As you know, the city council will be considering its approval of the term sheet tonight. And also, I know here today are representatives from the development team led by Ronnie Lott and the Fortress Investment Group. So what I'd like to do, uh, you have a staff report before you with recommendations. I uh, would like to take the time to uh, read that into the record. And then uh, staff, as well as others, are available to respond to questions uh, after that presentation. Um, I will go back through the recommendations in detail at the conclusion of the report. Um, with regard to um, background and overview, the City of Oakland, County of Alameda, and the Oakland City Pro Football Group signed a non-binding letter of intent on August 26, 2016 to work towards the next step of developing and approving a non-binding term sheet. Based on your board's direction, the proposed term sheet is summarized in the letter before you and presented for your board's consideration. The Oakland City Council is scheduled to consider approval of the same term sheet at its meeting tonight uh, at 6.30 in the Oakland City Council Chambers. The proposed term sheet with the Oakland City Pro Football Group and Fortress Investment Group, referred to as the Lot Group, is further expression by parties of their willingness to negotiate. The term sheet is non-binding except for its exclusivity and confidentiality provisions. It provides a specific outline of the negotiation process, a conceptual description of the project, its components in the project site, conceptual outline of financial terms, and a conceptual outline of other development terms. With regard to the project site description, the site for the proposed project is comprised of all or portions of approximately 110 net acres encompassing the existing Oakland <coughs> County County Coliseum, the Oracle Arena, and associated parking and other uses, referred to as the Coliseum site, all jointly owned by the City of Oakland and the County of Alameda. The term sheet also addresses the four and a half acre site owned by the City, located between the Coliseum property and the Coliseum BART station, which is slated for development of a mixed-use transit-oriented development referred to as the Transit Hub. The county is not involved in the development of the Transit Hub, but if funding for the public improvements necessary for the Transit Hub is not received within a date to be agreed upon, and the parties are not able to negotiate an alternative development plan, the lot group would be able to terminate the DBA. With regard to project components, approximately 25 net acres of the project site are currently occupied by the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum and are proposed to be developed by the lot group with commercial, retail, hotels, and possibly residential <coughs> Approximately 55 net acres at the south side of the Coliseum site are proposed to be developed by the lot group with a new stadium with approximately 55,000 seats, including dedicated and reciprocal parking. The reciprocal parking would be used for the parking needs of the Oracle Arena and the new Oakland Athletic Ballpark if developed at terms to be negotiated as well as for other project uses. Approximately 20 acres at the north side of the Coliseum site are proposed to be developed by the lot group as reciprocal parking to be used to serve the parking needs of the new Ace Ballpark if developed at terms to be negotiated and other project uses. An additional five net acres at the north side of the site will be used by the lot group as CEQA required wetlands and stormwater mitigation. The 10 acre Oracle Arena site will not be part of the lot group development site unless and until the Warriors relocate to another non Coliseum location and the city and county elect not to use, continue to use the arena. Approximately 15 net acres at the north side of the site. Coliseum site will be reserved for a new ballpark site for the A's and will not be developed
until by the lot group unless and until the A's relocate to a non-Coliseum location. With regard to financial responsibility for construction of the improvements, the new stadium is projected to cost approximately $1.3 billion, including site improvements and infrastructure. The parties anticipate that the new stadium and other project components will likely be financed as follows. The city will invest $200 million to construct infrastructure, site preparation, and other related expenses that are part of the scope of the project but are not hard construction costs for the new stadium. These could be financed as follows. A hundred million of privately placed bonds secured by the direct city taxes generated by the new stadium. The lot group will lead a private placement of the bonds. The other hundred million would be an enhanced infrastructure financing district or EIFD bond or other financing secured by the city but for taxes. In other words, based on city tax revenue generated as a result of development of the project. The city will endeavor to bond against this future tax revenue as early as possible, but the city will not bond in any manner that puts the city's general purpose funds at risk. Therefore, the parties anticipate that the probable need for the lot group or another private party to provide or secure bridge financing on terms to be negotiated for all or a portion of this amount until an EIFD bond is able to be issued. The city and county will convey approximately 105 net acres of real property at the Coliseum site with the possibility of conveyance of another 25 net acres at the Coliseum site. The 10 acres currently site sitting on with the arena and the 15 acres reserved for a possible A's ballpark to the lot group pursuant to the terms of the DBA. This land conveyance may be by lease or full transfer of the land to be determined as part of the DBA negotiations and is valued in the term sheet at approximately $150 million. The DBA will include financial participation by the city and county in certain project revenues as payment to the land conveyance. The terms of that financial participation are to be negotiated as part of the DBA negotiations. Options could include the lot group could receive net cash flow from the project until the lot group's cumulative internal rate of return reaches an agreed upon percentage, whereupon a split of net cash flow between the lot group, the city, and the county until the city and county receive a negotiated dollar amount. Another option might be that the city and county could receive a negotiated share of net proceeds generated from the future capital events, such as the sale or transfer of the project. The lot group or the raiders, as the case may be, will manage the sales of seat options or other equivalent rights at the new stadium with an anticipated sales of $200 million. If seat option sales are less than $200 million, only the lot group and the raiders would be responsible for making up any deficiency. The city and county have no financial responsibility for the proposed sale of seat options or for making up any shortfall. The balance of any construction costs for the new stadium, approximately $700 million, will be borne 100% by a consortium consisting of the NFL, the Raiders, jointly $300 million, and the lot group at $400 million, with the lot group willing to bridge any financing gaps in accordance with the agreed upon terms among the lot group, the NFL, and the Raiders. The lot group would also be responsible for any construction cost overruns. The county shall not 